Our first guest tonight is an Oscar, Emmy, and Golden Globe winning actor who's played Catwoman, an astronaut, a princess, pretty much all my Halloween costumes from kindergarten through the fourth grade. She adds witch to her resume. She stars alongside Octavia Spencer in Roald Dahl's The Witches, which is now on HBO Max. Please say hello to Anne Hathaway. Hi, Anne. How Hi. are you? I'm great, how are you? I like what you're wearing there. I'm doing well. What is that, a dress or a shirt, or what's it's going a, on? Uh, it is a, it's a casual sparkle dress. Thank oh. you. Oh, casual. I didn't know they made casual sparkle dresses. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, usually. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I mean, you had a baby since the last time I, I spoke to you. Yes. Yeah, he's almost 11 months now, so it's been a minute. 11 months. What did you name him? Jack. Jack. Oh, that's a good, solid... Regular name, Jack, right? <laughs> yes, it is. So we've got a Jonathan and we've got a Jack. A Jonathan and a Jack. You, have a, you know, my family is all J's. Uh, my sister, I are have they? a Jonathan, brother Jonathan, sister Jill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all J's in our so family. So are you angling for me to, like, go for a third and then name him Jimmy? Uh, yes, I am, yeah. Or her, <laughs> you can name her. Or Jazzy Jeff is nice, too, you could go with. <gasps> There we go. I love the options. Thank you. Thank you. Are you thinking about having another one? Is this something that you've been talking about? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to blink, uh, blink my thoughts out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's the world is really scared. Like some minutes I'm like, yes, absolutely. And some minutes the world scares me too much. And I think I've got two healthy ones and that feels really great. So yeah. I don't, I, I don't really know yet. Do you feel guilt at all knowing all the terrible things that are going on right now? <laughs> you brought these children into this world that they're going to have to manage and deal with in 30, 40, 50 years? Now that you've heaped it on me, I think, <laughs> I think I'm projecting I, is what's happening. I think we all do, man. I think we're all worried about that. And, you know, and it still feels like we've got, it's a, clo it's a slim window and it's a closing window, but it just still feels like we have that opportunity that we can give them a better future than the worst, worst, worst prognosis. But, you know, it's now. It's happening. It's, it's that time. When this all started with the quarantine, the lockdown, mm. what, back in March, what approach did you take? Did you overdo it? Did you underdo it or did you get it just right? How did you handle it? No, it's just so embarrassing. I just, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was, I just, you know those little magical thoughts that you have that kind of keep you going, keep your anxiety at bay, and you're just like, as long as I do this thing, everything's going to be fine? Yes. So I decided that it would keep my family safe. If I put tape around all of our light switches and our doorknobs, because I was just like, it's, 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 I'm so smart. I'm so <laughs> smart. These are the most oft touched surfaces. And we'll just remember to wash our hands and put Lysol on them. And I did this. And my husband came upstairs and he saw what I've been working on. And he's just like, is like, what, why, why? <laughs> and I had, and I explained the reason to him and it, and it didn't mean anything. And then it was so embarrassing because they did nothing. And uh -huh. then they started to peel, and we just had sad tape coming off of everything for months. And he continued to make fun of me. That was really so. No, what it was kind so, of so tape dumb. were you using? Was it like a masking tape to make a, a visual <laughs> reminder, or was it right on the switch so that you? It was the worst. It was like <laughs> it, like tiny, expensive, skinny Japanese tape, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> which I'm sure you have so much of. But um, yeah, no, there's 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 nothing redeeming about this story. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that wasn't even the stupidest thing that I did. I was so, I think, freaked out about everything that I convinced myself that if I just, if I just wore a pair of sensible heels, everything would be fine. <laughs> what? You mean just like around the house? Why am I saying this stuff out loud on your show? <laughs> yes, I was convinced. I had just got a really pair, a really sensible pair of heels from Everlane, uh -huh. and I was just convinced that if I wore it, somehow I would just it would give me special organizational powers. Is the idea it would keep you farther off the ground, and then you would be more you'd be farther from the germs? It's so generous of you that you thought there was an idea behind it. <laughs> it was a feeling. <laughs> it was a really dumb feeling. And uh, it lasted exactly five hours. And again, it gave my, son th my husband, and my husband teased me about it yesterday. Do you have Like you I was talking about, I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I don't blame him for teasing you about that, but. <laughs> 
Are you teasing him about it? Is he doing anything weird that you need to report to all oh, of us? He's he's so perfect. Yeah, he. I know do... I shouldn't say that. It's too much. It's too much pressure. But um, but no, he's really he he's a. Uh, He's he's got a he's got a, he's a really like easygoing guy, so he usually hits the bullseye pretty right. I'm the one that spins out a little bit. Does your I'm very lucky I married him. Does your four year old know like what mom does for work, what your job is? No, I wasn't sure where we were at with that because we showed him Rio recently, uh -huh. and he didn't notice that uh, that one of the birds sounded like me. Right. Um, so he knows that mommy goes to work. And I recently left to go to a, to do a project, and I and you know we were kind of getting him ready because I was going to be gone for for a little bit, and I was like, okay, so mommy's going to work, mommy's going to work, and he stopped and he looked me really deep in my eyes and he goes, mommy, are you going to work at the library? <laughs> <laughs> Why does he think that? <laughs> No idea. Your guess is as good as yeah. But we went with it, and I was like, yes, yes, mommy is going to work the library. So he thinks I'm a librarian, uh -huh. which is a form of storytelling. So we're just kind of going with that until further notice. Are the kids dressing up for Halloween, or are you going to skip yeah. it this year? What are they going no, as? No, we're going to... Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna dress up. Uh, we we got a small little socially distanced uh, plan, uh, uh, socially distanced uh, idea. Sorry, I don't know what it is about you. I can't talk in front of you. It's really? so embarrassing. <laughs> you just oh, I've always had this thing. I get butterflies. I uh, like my anxiety doors close, and I can't get the words out. You have to excuse. I bring me. out the worst in people. It really is. It's one of my qualities. <laughs> I just, I don't know what it is. I think it's because I admire you so much. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. I think it's because you're good at all the things I want to be good at. Well, you should so see the way I taped up my light switches on my house. <laughs> it's... Was it really impressive? Was I'm going to so help good? you. Yeah, yeah, I can really help with that. <laughs> so, okay, so, so any, you're having so we got a... got a plan. Yeah. We're doing a thing, socially distanced, small group of people. We're going to hide candy in the backyard. Jonathan loves the movie Cars, so Adam is going to dress up as Doc Hudson. Jonathan's going to be Lightning McQueen. Oh, and Jack is just like this little, he just climbs on everything, so he's going to be a monkey, and I figure I'm going to hold him the entire time, so I'm going to be a treat. Oh, that's nice. You got the whole family dressed up in costume. See, that was yeah. good. You should, you know what? Uh, are you going to bob for apples or no? That doesn't seem like the right thing to do this year. Yes, unless <laughs> you fill the thing with Purell. Something to think about. Um, we'll take a break and we'll come I'm back. I'm starting to admire you a little bit less. That's how, it, that's usually how it goes. We'll be back with <laughs> Anne Hathaway after this. You were picked up. And you got away from me. Remember? But I got that horrid little friend of yours. It was you. You were the filthy witch who turned Alice. <coughs> That's a nasty. That is Octavia Spencer and Anne Hathaway in Roll Dolls, The Witches, which is on HBO Max right now. You're very good in this movie. Very, like, scary, but in a funny way, but still very scary. Oh. And that accent, where did you, like, did you model it on anyone or anything in particular? I found a guy on the internet. How many stories begin that way these days? Uh, <laughs> and he's... It was uh, my my dialect coach gave me the idea of maybe exploring Old Norse, and uh, so I found a guy who was reciting Norse poetry on the internet in front of a mountain, and it was just so mystical and sinister sounding. And then uh, he translated the poem that he was reading, and it was something like, "The cows have come in from the field and need to be milked." It was so banal, <laughs> and so I um, and so I decided to try it. And I'm like, "What's like just the most like straightforward thing you could say?" And I was like. I would like a Big Mac with fries. And I was like, this works! This yeah. works! Everything sounds kind of weird and spooky and sinister in an Old Norse accent. Do you think that guy has any idea that you based the accent on him? 
I'm I've been talking about it a fair bit, so okay. I'm wondering if he's like, do you think it's it's me, the the old Norse poetry scholar that's standing in front of the mountain? I wonder. <laughs> I'd love to hear from him. <laughs> this is thank um, him. Let's take a look at a photograph. Uh, what you had to go through to get into character here. That is that looks uncomfortable, very uncomfortable actually, <laughs> and also awesome. That one was okay. Yeah. Thank you. I, when Bob showed me that that's where we were going with it. I just, I had to take a moment because I, I did scream when I saw it and I just thought okay this is this is that's the part that's going to terrify this generation of kids, and um, and it was great we kind of you know decided to make the rest of the performance we tried to make it as funny as possible to kind of balance out that horror. Is that the most uncomfortable uh, I don't guess costume makeup whatever that you you've endured? No 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 that. It, 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 I mean, it was like it was a long time in the hair and makeup chair, but the the rest of the costume was fine. The worst costume I've ever had was on Interstellar. Oh, oh yes, gosh, yeah. Those, oh, those spacesuits were they were hard, and um, and you know, and we were in pretty rugged conditions. We were in Iceland. We were running through water. We were you know climbing glaciers, and um, and maybe I put too much pressure on myself, but I was the only girl on the crew uh, who was wearing one. So I just thought, I can't complain about this. I can't, it can't be me that breaks. And then um, your buddy, Matt Damon, started his first day and about two hours into to it, he just pitched for it and just went, this is the worst costume I've ever worn. Um, and it was okay because once Matt Damon said it, then the rest of us could complain. Matt Damon was the baby is what happened there. <laughs> yeah. Of course Damon was the one mm. to complain. That makes <laughs> so much sense to me. It really does. And he was like, wasn't he crazy glued to Greg Kinnear in a movie and he's complaining <laughs> about this? Really? They were really, but to be fair, they were really rough costumes. What about so. the Catwoman costume? Do you own that? No, I don't. I wish I did. I, I was too shy to ask for any of it. Oh, you got to um, ask for this stuff, but I have good news for you. I, I know where it is. And it's in very good hands. In fact, Guillermo has been wearing it time to time. Oh my God, it's like looking in a mirror. You know what? Whenever I get a little down, Guillermo puts the Catwoman costume on. <laughs> Guillermo, will you wear that while we watch the Dodgers game after the show? Yeah, sure, whatever you okay, say. Okay, very good, all right. Guillermo, I love you forever. Thank you. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Thank you, and for you. Yeah, Guillermo's planning to vote sometime in the next few months. <laughs> no, tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> and thank you very much. It's great to see you. Congratulations on the baby. Roll Dolls, The Witches is on HBO Max now. We'll be back with David Muir. Thanks, Ann. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Oh, oh, oh.